What's good everybody? It is your boy Cap back with another Xenoverse video for you guys. Today we are here to basically talk about and showcase everything that we have for Xenoverse 3 in terms of information, rumors, all things like that. Because recently with these Xenoverse 3 vids that I was doing for you guys, it was mainly just about the website and the updates that were coming to the website. Now I'll talk about that in this video of course because it is a big part of the Xenoverse 3 rumors and things like that. But also, there was some past stuff that I want to show you guys as well that kind of hint and show the chance of Xenoverse 3 happening is very, very real. Now, there are a couple other reasons I want to come with this video for you guys today. Once, there were some people confused in the last Xenoverse 3 video where I was talking about the website. They didn't really understand the stuff that was going on because I didn't give an in-depth explanation on it. So, I'll do that for you guys today. Um, two, also, obviously, like I said, I want to show you guys some of the new stuff. And then three... Um, there are a lot of people that were in the comments that were like just denying Xenoverse 3 having any chance or anything along those lines and those are the people that I want to kind of target with this video right here because honestly if after watching this you don't think Xenoverse 3 has any kind of chance I don't know what to say to you you just are blind to the facts and don't want to see the possibility I guess for Xenoverse 3 because again after seeing everything in this video there's no way that you can say there is no chance of Xenoverse 3 and that none of this really correlates to there being a chance as well. So, the first two things I want to showcase, guys, are on, like, I guess you could say the newer side. Um, and that's really just because I haven't showcased these things in the past. Didn't think that either of these were worthy enough to make their own video on. But when you compile it and put it with all the other stuff, definitely something you want to take note of and look at if you have not seen before. Now, this tweet right here comes from Mar Animation. Huge, huge shout out to him. He was not the one who discovered this. I believe it was some of his homies. Um, but as you guys see right here, he says Xenoverse 3 is a potential possibility right now. Nothing's 100%, but after looking at the Scott models, she's completely overhauled. Not my discovery. Same with the models in the artwork. They could have been backported from a build of Xenoverse 3. They wouldn't do this for anything small. So this is an example basically of the differences and you can see one how one looks so much better than the other. Um, now I do not know the most about graphic designing and video game designing and all things like that. But I would have to say that I would agree with him on the simple premise that they wouldn't do this necessarily for anything small. Um, and, and I don't think they would have done it for the free update just to add Supreme Cop Time as a playable character. Why would they not just use the model that they've already had in Xenoverse 2? For basically four and a half years at this point in time and put that in the game so I do agree with the fact that it doesn't it doesn't make sense for them to do this for anything small and if they already had the build version of the new Supreme Cop time from like a early beta or something like that of Xenoverse 3 and just backport it like he said that would honestly make a lot of sense now again this doesn't confirm anything or anything like that but it is definitely something that hints and points towards the possibility of Xenoverse 3. So again, shout out to the homie Mart Animation for sharing this on Twitter. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys really quickly, guys, is just a typo that was made by Bandai on a um, on the free update trailer, I believe. It says the latest free update for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 is now live. Now, again, this could just be a simple typo. But at the same time, who knows, maybe the person who was actually typing this up, typing up description, had recently been working on Xenoverse 3 and the Xenoverse 3 project in some kind of way, and that is why he typed it out there. You don't know for sure, this is one that I feel is very little, but at the same time, it can be used, and you can look at it as like, you know, maybe that wasn't a mistake, and maybe they were just working on Xenoverse 3 and things like that. So again, this right here is not nearly as big as the whole Supreme Kai of Time thing, but at the same time, definitely is a little piece of information slash rumor, I guess you could say, that kind of does show the potential of Xenoverse 3. Now, with all that being shown, guys, the rest of the stuff that I'm going to show and talk about really does come from the websites, but I'm going to break it down pretty much like I did in the very first video and showcase everything and why this whole who is record for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3.com is honestly so big. Now, first and foremost, guys, for those who have not seen any other videos, we're on a domain tool website, basically, where you can see information on websites, things like that. You can see if a uh, website is bought, um, all types of stuff like that you can find out with these websites. And as you see, we have a who is record for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3.com. 
Now, the reason that this is so big, honestly, is one, it is a Dragon Ball Xenoverse3.com. Nobody knew about it for a very, very long time. But then there's also some very, very interesting dates that coincide with this as well. If you notice, this, this website was created on 12-9-2014. The reason that's very, very important is because it immediately knocks out the chance of it being a troll who made this website. If a troll was to actually make this website, how would they one know to make this website six over six years ago at a point in time where Xenoverse 2 wasn't even a thought? Xenoverse 1 hadn't even been released. So again, that date is very, very important because it definitely takes out the possibility of trolls making this domain and making this website and buying in things like that. Because again, what kind of troll would do that six years in the past when they don't even know Xenoverse 2 is going to be a thing? Why would they buy Xenoverse 3 all the way back then? So that's definitely one thing that is very, very important and takes away the possibility of trolls. But the other thing that I would definitely say kind of confirms the fact that this was definitely not made by trolls in any way, shape, or form. The Who Is website or Who Is record for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2.com shows that Xenoverse 2 was also made on 12 9 2014. Again, this is a date before Xenoverse 1 was even released. So clearly, what this shows to me is that Bandai and Dimps had plans for a trilogy in this series from day one pretty much they planned out a trilogy in some way shape or form from day one and had these websites and purchased them early on so nobody else would be able to in the future so again that right there is very very big for the simple fact that it completely knocks out any type of troll actually making this website another major thing that recently just happened um, and I made that video on that was pretty much the whole video itself was just talking about the expiration of the Xenoverse 3 website. The Xenoverse 3 website was set to expire on 12 9 2020 up until about like seven days ago or something like that when I actually made that vid saying how it was renewed and saying how that right there gives me a ton and I mean a ton of hope for the potential of Xenoverse 3 actually happening because if the website would have got expired and it would not have been renewed that would have just killed it right there but the simple fact that they are keeping it renewed why would they do that unless they have some kind of plans for the game so that's another thing that really really points at Xenoverse 3 happening in some way shape or form we just do not know when now another thing that I want to look at with you guys that I find very very important is the who is history for these websites you can look at the history and basically see what kind of um historical records and if there's any significant changes and things like that made to these websites as well and with xenoverse 3 when me and burkle first looked into this and made our initial videos the xenoverse 3 website said it only had 28 historical records and it only had at least 28 significant changes well now it's at 58 we are basically a month later from the time we made our initial videos talking about this and this discovery and now it is at 58 changes that's 30 more changes that have been made within the last month essentially and i have been checking this daily and it does seem like it's getting at least one change each and every single day at this point in time so that is another thing why would they be working on this website so much if they weren't actually going to release it and make the website for the game that would come out in the future. So again, another thing that is just really pointing at Xenoverse 3 actually happening. So if after seeing all this, you still want to say that it has no chance, then I would just say that you're in denial. Like plain and simple. I honestly would say that you are in denial at this point. Um, and, and really must hate Xenoverse or something along those lines because there is so much that points to it actually being a game and being announced at some point in the future. Now, if you're one of those people who are saying I'm taking it with a 50-50 chance or something like that, don't want to get my hopes too high or too low, I completely understand that because we are do not have anything official from Bandai or Dimps or anything along those lines, but there is definitely so much that definitely points at Xenoverse 3 and Xenoverse 3 actually happening sometime in the future. Now, like I said, again, nothing is confirmed, so you don't want to have your hopes all the way up, but mines have definitely increased a great amount. Since we have found this who is record for Xenoverse3.com, and since it also has had many updates, and also the expiration on the website has also been changed um, and been updated as well. 
So again, there's just so much on this alone that shows Xenoverse 3 actually being a thing. But then again, if you look at this, this I feel is another major example and just something that is very, very big for the possibility of Xenoverse 3. The fact that they did overhaul Supreme Cop Time so much and made her look so much better really um, makes me feel like they possibly would be doing this for the Xenoverse 3 version of the Supreme Cop Time. So again, man, there's just a lot of stuff that honestly points at it. Um, wanted to put this together for, to, for you guys to showcase everything, everything that we know about it, all the information that we have regarding it. And also you can see that there also have been more historical changes and things like that for those who have been keeping up with these Xenoverse 3 videos. Like when I made that last Xenoverse 3 video talking about how the website and the expiration date was changed and it was renewed pretty much, I believe there were like 51, 52 historical changes and that was like a week ago. So again, you can see that they're constantly working on this website in some way, shape or form. We don't know exactly what they're doing. And overall, you can just see that there's a lot that really points at Xenoverse 3 like I've said multiple times in this video. So let me know guys how you feel overall about this if this has changed your mind for those who were like oh it's not gonna happen um it's there's just no chance things like that because if, if you're really saying that like i said after watching this then i don't know what else i can say and what other thing there could really be besides actual confirmation from bandai or dimps that would make you guys believe that xenoverse 3 has a chance of happening and has a very good chance based off of everything we've seen so again let me know you guys' thoughts down below in the comments but as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good day peace y'all